We want to bring uh, together activists of different social movements, left-wing parties, non-governmental organizations and other activist groups from the whole of Europe here together in one place to exchange experience about campaigning strategies, about developing uh, organizations, networks, about building up a strong left in the whole of Europe. I hope that you had the opportunity to get to know Madrid in our wonderful venue. Our aim is to bring them together that they could exchange um, their successes they had in organizing campaigns like Momentum, uh, the Bernie Sanders campaign and others, but that they also could talk about failures, failed strategies and develop a European-wide perspective for organizing for a left hegemony. Die wichtigsten Themen sind natürlich die Frage der sozialen Spaltung, die soziale Frage, die äh, Rechte der, der Arbeiter und äh, insbesondere der Kampf gegen die Prekarisierung. Political space, I think, is radically changing over the last years with the rise of the right. Experience feminist in this uh, in our Madrid. To have this internationalist, uh, progressive idea of the M25 as an antidote. The, the, the point of my talk is about trying to bring the left together. In Ireland, we have a very, very fragmented left. Making people do something in order to get your avatar, your candidate, elected. I'm very impressed by the diversity of uh, activists and party members, but I'm a little bit surprised. Like we're very much talking about today how to organize ourselves today in a nowadays society, but the world will be changing. And part of what we have to do is we have to find answers for tomorrow's problems. I think um, the main challenge will be moving a step further from uh, words and notions which are based on anti, anti-fascism, anti-austerity. So defining ourselves as anti and uh, figuring out a more positive language, which defines us through ambitious goals rather than reacting. I'm understanding how important it is, a new revolution, that it's able to combine a class with feminism and ecology and be able to make a concrete change without losing the theory. I'm going to take away and take home with me is that we can be unapologetically, um, you know, have values. I think that what's been beautiful is people saying like, I believe in this, right? I believe in um, more socialist tendencies. I believe in um, a vision where the co of the commons, right? And it's, for me, it's really refreshing to be in a room with people who are from different backgrounds, countries of origin. defeat them politically and this means we have to think about other concepts of transformation. Racism, heterosexism, nationalism, um, discrimination, these issues have to be put at the center of class politics. We are more working to revival of class self-identification and the class struggle itself. Surpass the liberals that are on the march again with uh, our conception of European integration. You know, modern capitalism does not have any connection with people or place, any interest in people or place. It is only interested in profit. Be more and more uh, with the social struggles. This, this is what will continue and we will reinforce. In Slovenia we are uh, in front of uh, the next parliamentary elections, so for me personally it is the most interesting uh, thinking about and listening to people from France in Sumis uh, Bernie Sanders' campaign and uh, Jeremy Corbyn's campaign um, in order to uh, 
come home and uh, have some advice to my comrades how to uh, efficiently organize our uh, electoral campaign. I think we have to develop a program for Europe, uh, and a vision of the kind of Europe that we would like to, to, to create, uh, because I think that would help us uh, you know, deal with our kind of different national positions in relation to, to Europe and the EU. If you go to Catalonia or live there, you know that the Catalonian National Project is based in the Bourgeois Project. To deal or to pact a legal referendum of self-determination in Catalonia. This is the most rational solution, but it's not accepted by the Spanish state. Not, it's not only the right-wing party, the Social Democratic Party uh, is not going to accept it, neither. I think that uh, the most interesting thing it was like how to articulate class politics involving more uh, also other instances like refugee system instance, like migrant system, like feminist instance, like how to uh, understand better the composition of the class now and how to act. We need to create those links between activists and trade unions and that's a, there's a big job of work to be done there I think. Um, to stop talking about the people and the unemployed and them and to be of the people, to be amongst the people, to be part of the community is the most important thing. We are too separate at times from uh, the people we pretend and that we say that we represent. I think that it was uh, really a school. Uh, Rosa Luxemburg Foundation gave us the opportunity to meet with very interesting people and uh, everybody was uh, saying here that we should find in the left in Europe and not only in Europe um, common ground to make alliances uh, in order to fight capitalism is the only way. Yeah.